Good evening. What's going on there, guys? It is Earthmaster here on the live stream on this beautiful Sunday, August 15, 2021 is the date. Just about 8.30 p.m. California time. Yes, I'm still here in California. One of these days. Uh, didn't get a chance to do an update video last night. It's pretty tired and worn out from the, uh, the trip up to uh, Greenville uh, to cover some of the... Uh, the uh, Dixie Fire coverage, 4.5, the latest quake out there on the globe, shaking things up. Still see a lot of activity ramping up here along the North American Plate, South American Plate, all the way down to the Antarctic and uh, uh, areas around that region. Let's go ahead and check out some uh, data on the earthquake activity taking place worldwide here on the USGS map. There's that 4.5 just off the coast of Panama it looks like 4.5 at 10 kilometers a little bit of movement there into that region most of the activity been kind of up here to the north northern uh, uh, or the North American plate also down here to the south as well looks like around the Ecuador or Peru region Had a little bit of movement in South America getting in on some of the uh, deeper activity into the subduction zone you can see 110 here and you look just to the east East normally means a little bit further deep down into the trench, 224 kilometers for that 4.2 into the region of uh, Bolivia. Beautiful area. I mean, it's kind of a desert. I mean, kind of a desert. It is, it is I think, desert. I've seen it in quite a few videos, but it's, I've always wanted to kind of tour that uh, area as well. Uh, just got some uh, scenic, scenic mountains and whatnot in that area one of these days maybe in my next life looking at the activity here into the south sandwich islands still getting some movement along the uh, subduction zone here in the south sandwich trench nothing major st still just popping off a bunch of fives and fours man we're talking about a lot of movement taking place over the last seven days let's go ahead and check that out in the region here of the uh of the subduction zone 125 earthquakes i'm sure there's way 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 more of course the two biggest ones is 7.5 a couple minutes later an 8.1 that struck and then following that i believe we had a 6.3 as the uh there we go 6.3 that one was further south of all of them so that's kind of odd that's why i still think we could still possibly see some movement here i mean there's just a lot of activity folks 125 earthquakes of at least, you know, most of them are fives and upper fours. And then we had the 8.1. I tell you what, there's just so much going on down there. Let me tell you. Um, let's see here. Seven days. I want to check this out here. 2.5 and above. Look at all that activity over the last seven days. 2.5 and above, at least for the states and the territories of states. But... Uh, internationally, it looks like, uh, I believe it's just 4.0 and above, or, yeah, 4.0 and above, but quite a bit of movement, folks, all up and down here. You can almost draw a line from the South Sandwich Islands up through this region where some, uh, deep earthquake activity is taking place all the way up in the North American plate. Uh, but most of this area, uh, here is a subduction zone region up here as well. Uh, Middle America Trench, it looks like. And uh, we did see some activity, of course, kicking up into the uh, um, Alaska region following that uh, large one there they had well over a week ago, maybe two weeks now. Still, still, I do not believe we have seen sufficient movement here, folks, in this area of the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Pacific Plate, this little area down here off the coast of Mexico, or Mexico, <laughs> Japan. There we go. Still haven't been sleeping right these days, man. I don't know what's going on with my sleep pattern. Something's, something's going on. Maybe it's just because I'm getting older, right? Uh, so yeah, still watching this region for potentially further activity. I know we did see that cluster of fives, and I think they even had maybe a six around this area. I think there was quite a bit of movement. It's not showing up here on the seven days. It's been over the seven day mark already. Um, let's see if we can pick that up here in the 30 days. Here's that cluster of quakes I was talking about here. Kind of thought, man, we were looking at maybe potentially something much larger, but uh, I think all that we've seen here into the uh, area off the coast of Japan was just a couple fives, a whole bunch of fours there, about 21 earthquakes.
kind of rattling some nerves off the coast of Japan. Kind of issued a uh, earthquake watch out there for that region. Nothing came of it. But uh, looking back over the last seven days or so, uh, it's still kind of kind of looking at uh, some quiet activity out here, folks. So definitely uh, keep an eye on this region. Uh, here's the last 24, really quiet in that region. Uh, had some movement up here way north into Russia, 5.0. In the uh, Yabaluni, no, Yablon, oh man, I don't even know. <laughs> Yabaluni, I was probably way off on that. Afghanistan as well, 5.1. Um, striking in the northeastern part, well north of Kabul. Kabul? Kabul. I hear it enough on the news right now. A whole lot going on over there. Not good. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's just, I don't know. News media making it bad. 5.0 also in the Armenia area. Kind of on the border. Actually, it looks like it's on the other side. It's kind of odd. Uh, and not a whole lot going on. It's the Medi Mediterranean um, look at this activity. We're talking about lines of activity. Look at this activity here from Texas through the New Madrid system up towards the East Coast. Kind of hugging the the North American Craton. It kind of runs up through here. I'm not going to pop it up here on this map, but it kind of runs runs around around that region here. A little bit of earthquake activity, including one right smack dab, right smack dab into the new Madrid Fault area. And by a right smack dab, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. I'll show you the US hazard. See that little micro uh, 2.0 quake right there? Right smack dab in the major hazard zone called, called the new Madrid area. So I believe that uh, fault system def definitely still alive. A lot of geologists saying that that's uh, pretty much a dead fault and that pressure it may be building up somewhere else, but I don't think so. I think it's still, I think it's still alive. Uh, 1.7 over here uh, towards Baltimore area looks like 4.8 kilometers below the surface, and uh, other not not a whole lot of movement in Oklahoma or Texas. A little bit of movement here down around the Pecos area, New Mexico. Uh, Pecos, Texas sits over here to the south. Actually, this activity is a little bit further north. Uh, north of Pecos into the New Mexico uh, state, actually. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Satellite. Let's check out satellites out there. Whoa. What do we got? UFOs on the ground? Are those beautiful farmhouses? Beautiful community living together? All united as one? Or is that a bunch of... Well, you know what. Do I need to say what those are? Do I really need to say what those are? Probably not. Pumping operations in a mass quantity. 3.3 out there creating a little bit of a vibration in the earth. West Coast, Cascadia, what's going on out here along the Pacific? A little bit of movement off of the Gorda Ridges to the west. A little 2.5, 8. 0.5 kilometers way out here. Cascadia subduction zone fairly quiet. Still seeing a little bit of deep movement. Well, this isn't really deep. It's a 2.0, 6.8 kilometers for, uh, below surface for that one. We had been seeing quite a bit of movement into this area, but uh, on the deeper side, deeper meaning uh, 28 uh, kilometers or so, 24, 27, another 28 in this region over the last week. That uh, deeper activity has kind of tapered off. Uh, but I don't expect that to last too long. A little bit of movement south of Mount Shasta, up here in the mountains. Uh, looks like a 1.4 near uh, Big Bend. Fire still raging up there in, uh, in uh, the mountains. And to be honest, I didn't see anybody putting any fires out. We've seen spot fires all along the road. Um, what do we got here? A little bit of movement along the... Uh, Antelope area, it looks like. Antelope Valley region, south of there, southwest. Overall, nothing major or significant moving into the Southern California region. In fact, quiet activity looks uh, below average for uh, any daily movement here along the San Jacinto Fault area. Pretty quiet looking in Southern California for now. Intermountain West region, wow. 
This is the all magnitudes here. We're very, very quiet in Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Yellowstone. Everything very quiet. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the latest information here on the, uh, well, the Yellowstone overgraphs, seismograph overview. Caldera right here, Yellowstone Caldera, northwestern Wyoming, Yellowstone Lake. Pretty quiet, folks. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, maybe some microquakes here on the uh, promontory station. See some of these uh, spikes indicating some localized, very, very, very small earthquakes. Very small. And uh, that's about it, man. Not a whole lot of going on. Not, not a whole lot of fear-mongering, folks. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. <laughs> what do we got far as the weather goes? Space weather, that is. Let's check out the solar.ham solar .net site. A little bit of movement, uh, movement, I should say solar flare activity in this area. You can see a cluster of, of uh, sunspots kicking off there. This one looks kind of okay. We'll see what the uh, see what the flare systems are like. It looks like maybe a 10% chance of sea flare, most likely from any of those three sunspots that are uh, facing the Earth currently. You can see them uh, pretty well defined. Nothing significant, but man. Um, just kind of kind of quiet on the sun right now no major coronal holes uh, so yeah just we're, just we're just waiting just waiting on the sun to do her thing oh uh, what else we got oh yeah let's check out the trimmer map in the Pacific Northwest here or the uh, Cascadia subduction zone doop de doo doop de doo zero epicenters okay all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Hope everyone has a great night. Um, I'm still in the process of uh, setting up the uh, a giveaway on a uh, piggy bank. <laughs> a piggy bank that I've had for about 10 years. It's a, it's a little bit bigger than a piggy bank. Maybe somebody's thinking, oh, there's a couple bucks in there. No. I'm not going to say how much is in there, but it's definitely more than a couple bucks. 10 years worth of change built up, man. I don't like change. It's money, yes, but I just... It, you know, it's just pocket weight. So anyway, I'm getting ready to give that away. Video's coming. I'm just a little bit behind. Been pretty busy with uh, all the fire fire activity up around the uh, Northern California region. So hope everyone has a good night. Stay safe out there and peace out. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.